Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. In this video, I want to talk about the 2029 rule. So it's the 2029 date rule in Excel. Maybe it's beyond Excel and even in Windows, but we'll talk about it in the context of Excel and we'll take it, you know, out of Excel too. Um, dates in Excel can be very interesting. There's the ambiguity that comes with, you know, dates. Are you referring to 12th of May when you say uh, 12 slash 5 or are you referring to 5th of December, you know? So typically to avoid that ambiguity, uh, people like myself write our dates like this. So I do something like this, right? And that's what I do. You know, that way nobody's confused. It's obvious it's 12th of June as opposed to if I did 12 slash 6 and you start asking me, oh, is it 6th of December or, you know, 12th of June, okay? So you could do the same thing, 14th of August, you know, 25, so on. So I always write it this way and with the two digits for the year. I hardly ever write 2021, 2025. I just write the two digits, okay? But now there's something interesting about the two digits in Excel. That's where the 2029 rule comes in. So any date you put in before 2029 is treated as being in the 21st century. So that's what I put here. Anything less than 30 indicates 20xx so that's why when i was typing 21 here as my year it just did 2021 when i did 25 it also did 2025 now let's do something 2030 so just say 11th of september instead of putting the 19 or 20 just put 30 once you put 30 there do you see what happens it changes it to 1930 and you may not even have noticed this so you could just be typing the dates and then you know you you don't know that this is actually 19xx rather than 20xx and that could cause a problem you know down the line okay so that's the rule that excel has excel follows you know that 2029 rule so if you go beyond 2029 that's 2030 and above let's let's put something else let's go to 2050 so just put 50 rather Okay, so I'm intended to put 2050, but it's putting 1950. But anything less than 30, you know, works this way. And that's the standard rule that Excel follows. But this can be overridden using the regional settings in, you know, um, Windows. Okay, so even though, yes, Excel has the hidden 2029 rule, but you can override this using the regional settings. So let me go there. Uh, so I go to date and time settings. Sometimes it can be a little cumbersome getting there. Date and time, regional format additional date and time, regional settings. There are some interesting things in regional settings that control even what you see in Excel. Then I do change date, time, or number formats, okay? So in here, I go to additional settings. Now here, there are a couple of things, you know, that can change maybe how many digits you have after a decimal, are you using comma or full stop as your decimal separator, stuff like that. So in here, you go into date. Okay, and then you can see Excel's date format for short dates, long dates. You can specifically put in, you know, DD, MM, you know, YY, and change the settings for that. But I'm going to leave that for now. Looking at this part here, it says when a two digit year is entered, interpret it as a year between. This is what controls what Excel does. What I have seen though in Windows 10 for some of the systems I've observed it, I observed this on, is it has 2049 here as the default, but it's operating as 2029 in Excel. Maybe it's a glitch, you know, but I know in prior operating systems, this used to be 2029. Remember that. But here it shows 2049. I've tinkered with this a little. That's why it's showing you as 2029. But the important thing is that once you change it, either move it upwards or downwards, then you know, Excel respects whatever it is you've done. So now it looks to you like, okay, 2029 is the default. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to change this to 2049. So what this is going to mean is that anything from 2050 is going to be treated as 1950. Whereas anything, you know, before 50 will be treated as, you know, 20XX. Okay. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to do okay. I'm going to apply. I'm going to do okay. And I'm just going to go back to Excel. And let's see if that change has taken place immediately. So now, type in a date. So anything before, in this case, 2050. So let's do 40. Okay, that's taken as 2040. Then let's put something after 50. Okay, December 52. You see, it's taken as 1952. It's no more 
the 29 rule that operates now. This is now the 2049 rule. Okay, so that's how you kind of control what Excel does. So it's an interesting thing to note, you know, for people like me who are always fond of putting, you know, the short form two digits for the year. At least if I set this to 2050, then it means I have like, you know, 29 years of grace. <laughs> or if you set it to 2070, then you can have 50 years within which nothing can go wrong. But what this means is that if you leave it on the 2029, in the next nine years, your dates could get messed up if you are not careful enough to actually select, um, you know, or type in the four uh, year digits as opposed to it. So that's what the 2029 rule is all about. But just know that you can override it, you know, with the window settings in regional settings, you know, date and time. So just something I thought, you know, to do a video on. I'm sure you like this video. And if you definitely do, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. So for now, it's time for dinner. So I'm out.